Colin O'Brien retrospective images published by Pentagram. I love Colin O'Brien's work and I wanted to just, this is all I have and I just wanted to put this little book into the camera arena and, and just give everybody a quick insight into his work. I do love his work. Um, he's a very prolific street photographer and he sadly died in 2016 and he um, is documenting London from the, the 50s Highly regarded. I'm sure Colin is the influence of many a photographer going around now in streets from, from, from Nick Turpin, uh, Matt Stewart, uh, George Ensign, any of them. Uh, and I, I guess somewhere Colin O'Brien must feature in their, their history and, and their view on stuff. And like I said, that's all I have. This little beauty you can pick up for a couple of quid on Amazon and I think it's worth getting. So well, I want to have a look, quick look through it and this is just something done by Pentagram Design. Um, I'm not really sure what the purpose of this was, um, whether it was an exhibition or... Um, yes, it is, right, so it's retrospective images and it was a gallery at Pentagram Design. So the private view, uh, 26th of January 2000. So he was actually still alive when this went ahead. So that was great. And, yeah, so this is some of the, the images. This, as you may notice, I haven't looked at this for a while, but in, in here, this is a bigger picture, and this is just a crop of that bigger picture. In fact, it runs out there, but there's a lot of top on that, which is missing, so it should be in here. So let's have a quick look. I don't want to miss it, because it's a really lovely shot. So this, the rep, what, this sort of, the exhibition, I think it's just charting as the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s of his work. Now let's have a look at it. Let's just, um, I may have just moved that down a little bit. So there's an introduction by Dave Haywood, Dean of School of Marketing and Management, London College of Printing. And, you know, Colin was sort of um, very well regarded and well respected, you know. So I wouldn't be surprised that people were... Um, People were flocking to this when I came about. So we've got, this is the shot, Cowboy and Girlfriend. Let me just change the... Um, there you go. I'll come down. Right. So, I've just come down on this. So that's the shot. That's the front cover. So that's the bit of the cover you're getting. Um... I love it, absolutely gorgeous shot. That's sort of decisive moment, isn't it? And there's nothing, he's, he's got, what, 50 mil lens, something like that. It's not too, there's nothing really um, too wide about the shot. A lot of people, I think, go in on stuff like that, getting too close and are too wide often with the lens choice. And I think it's a lovely, subtle, beautiful, sort of um, candid approach to that. Um, scenario and you know you're able to capture other elements in this is Solomon's second hand shop 1963 wow so that's 1960 and South Sea 98 wow so we've jumped big time there's a total different deepness about the blacks as well from the 60s to that um, so that you know sort of newer like more modern type shot and, and film even. And so this is not just London because he was very renowned for his London shots. So this is, and like this one is Great Yarmouth. You know, I don't mind getting things wrong. I, I'm learning as I'm doing this myself. So I, I'm quite happy to put my, my neck on the line a little bit because I'm just trying to be positive and constructive about, you know, other photography. So I have nothing to worry about. And I, and I, I you know, I'm not always right. That's nice, John Smith and Friend, 1988. He's a well-travelled man in a sense, you know. He must have worn down his shoes quite a bit. Tra Travellers' Children, 1990, London Fields. Beautiful. And here we're going back now. Look at that. Look at the depth in that. Look at the gorgeous print quality. That's 1990, London Fields again. I guess that's a sixth extension of the Travellers. And we've gone into that beautiful, rich black of the 50s and 60s. Colour, look at the car. What a change of walking the streets for all them years and what he must have seen with, you know, like that's 1997, Chinatown. London Fields again. Oh, look at that. Park Bench, 1984. 
looks like the album cover, looks like the cover from an album, doesn't it? Let's have a skim. What have we got here? Senior Service 1916. Oh, look at that. Mrs. Lineweber, Clerkenwell, 1959. I may have pronounced that name wrong. Oh, I can smell that. It just reminds me of my granny's cooking, that, that scene. It's just beautiful. Harley, Rome. Oh, it's good that it was showing some other stuff. I've seen that. That's the Darley Rome shop. That's that. And this is, you know, I can see here with this signage and this concept, you know, I can see um, Dachovic's work here and I can see the Matt Stewart and I can see, you know, this relationship um, where people have been inspired, you know, to, to sort of copy... Um, Collins sort of style and work especially with that sort of Dali shot I hope I'm making some sense um, I know I waffle on a bit but Accident 2, uh, I'm not going to show you the other one, 1960 ambulance, look at that old ambulance, look at the car I can't really make out what's going on Hero is back 1982 oh I have to show you that Flower Lady Brighton 1959. Oh, wow. That's another era, isn't it? Look at the richness in that. I wonder what film he was using. There's the Avery Estates, 1963. That's a great shot. That's a lovely shot. Fashion Girls, 1998. Oh, let's have a look at that. Piccadilly, 1959. Wow. Wow, hasn't it changed? Look at that car. Looks like something from Bugsy Malone. And I'm going to end on Lightning Over St Paul's 1972. So I have missed some of this out, but regardless of what I've left out, of what I've included, of what I've said, I wanted to just give you an opener to Colin O'Brien and that you should go and discover his street photography. I think it's I think it's lovely. I think it's some beautiful images. It's a man who worked very hard at his passion, at his, his love, at his photography. And, it, it, you know, people make this stuff look so easy and it's not. Believe me, it's not easy. This is hard work to get these, this stuff. Great photographers just make it look so simple and Colin O'Brien certainly did that. Thank you.